All right. So we're going to be reviewing Saving Private Ryan's D-Day opening scene. Dog Green Sector. This is going to deal with the uh, Army Rangers. Yep, it must have been uh, pretty gut-wrenching. That he's he's got the shakes. You can tell. Very good acting on uh, Tom Hanks's part. Sorry, spoiler spoiler alert. <laughs> Thinking back when this came out, I think I was maybe eight, seven, or eight years old, and uh, this was such a revolutionary movie for that time. Oh, that's just rude. Golly, guys. At least throw up on the side of the over the side. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, he's basically telling them don't group up because the Germans would target uh, groups of men. It's a better target of opportunity. I can't imagine how nervous these guys would have been. Oh look, his mustache is in rag. That's good. Alright, they uh, should be about to get out. Saying the last minute prayers. Here they go. Oh, he lost his mind. Yeah, they're just shredding them inside of this. And they have the perfect vantage points, too. Notice how their weapons are covered in plastic to uh, protect them from the uh, seawater. Well, except for that, guys. It's gonna rust now. So you'll be seeing guys get shot underwater, and Mythbusters actually did an interesting video that that is not possible. Uh, they would not have been, I don't even think it would have broken skin uh, once the bullets hit the water. It pretty much loses all of its velocity. So cool feature, but not, not factual. The amount of death and destruction these this uh well these beaches would have seen is, is unreal. So it looks like Tom Hanks is trying to uh, make his way to some obstacles to uh, get some cover behind. Notice the special effects uh, packet. For the bullet uh, impact on that guy's chest. Kind of interesting. So it's interesting how they gave the perspective from the Germans. Uh, you don't really see the Germans. Um, you just see the muzzles and the uh, muzzle flash of the MG uh, 34s and 42s. Such as in this scene, they is just shredding them. My goodness. Like I don't even have a leg to stand on. So this is interesting because it it simulates the uh, the ringing of the ears um, that happens after explosions or, or loud noises, and just sort of that uh, shock moment 
that's often experienced. That is a very real event that would have happened. It was a very real threat for uh, flamethrowers. You know, people often wonder how can, you know, obviously that guy's missing his arm. Why is he picking it up? Well, he's probably going to take it over to the medics to see if they can reattach. Probably was not going to happen, but it's just that mentality of being in shock and things like that that make people act the way they do in uh, stressful situations like that. He probably didn't even feel it because of the adrenaline. See, he can't even hear what the soldier in front of him is saying. Yep. NCO's taking charge, leading his men to the to the shingle. I think we're about to get into some very interesting uh, points here. That is true. The Germans did have pretty much every inch of that beach uh, pre-sighted in with their mortars, uh, artillery, and even their machine guns. So, probably a very realistic scene where this guy has his intestines uh, falling out. Um, he's not going to have a good time. Look at this guy with a typewriter. So if you notice, a lot of the guys under their uh, chins, they have this black bag. What that is is actually a, a gas mask bag because they did not know if the Germans were going to be using chemical weapons uh, during the landing. A lot of them were ditched pretty soon after uh, the landings. But what's cool is a lot of soldiers kept them and used them as a waterproof bag because they were made out of rubber. So neat little historical fact right there. Unfortunately, Tom Hanks uh, drug that soldier over a landmine, and it uh, looks like he lost everything from his torso down, or from his hips down. We got the engineers running up with uh, Bangalores and what looks like maybe a mine detector. This would have been a really neat uh, set to, to be a part of, like as an actor. Uh, just it'd be, it'd be really interesting. Yeah, seeing the muzzle flashes going towards the uh, soldiers there, and it looks like we are uh, at the end. Part two will come later on. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.